The village of Tremont is now rallying around and supporting a local teen as she navigates a recent, recent cancer diagnosis. Rebecca Brumfield shows us how this week's CI hero continues to radiate joy and hope as she fights Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's all smiles and sisterly fun for a Tremont family. The mood comes as radiation treatment is complete for 15-year-old Savannah Jost. She finished treatment number 17 at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee, near the end of May. It has been incredible the amount of support we've received here at school, um, just for my job as well here at school, um, and then rallying around Savannah, all the prayers that we've received from the community, um, some old friends too, like it's just been crazy that everyone has come together to support her. Here at home, the village supports her journey with a group called Savannah Smiles. It's a way for Savannah's school, community, family, and friends to show support as she battles Hodgkin's lymphoma. Fremont's been supporting me by doing fundraisers like the Hoops for Hope event, um, or just simply praying, or just simple like cards. I got lots of cards or gifts, so they supported me through it. So. As a basketball and volleyball player, Savannah says it's reassuring to see her teammates have her back on and off the court. This year, I've made lots of new friends, like they've been helping me through this. And it's just been heartwarming that I know that they'll be there and that I have these friends that'll stick with me. The school district hosted Hoops for Hope for Savannah. Stacy Joe says they received $20,000 from the event. In Tremont, Rebecca Brumfield, WMBD News. You can nominate someone in your community to be our next CI hero. Just head online to CIProud.com. The submission form is underneath the community tab.